In today's Flightstream tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to use Flightstream's surface wrapping tool to create a watertight mesh around a rough CAD geometry. Here we see a nacelle that I previously imported from an iGES file. It has many holes and features we are going to want to clean up prior to analysis. First, we're going to use the CAD Repair tool to restore the original surfaces. Select the face, right click, Repair. Next, click Create Untrimmed Copy of this face. After a moment, you'll see a restored copy of the original surface. We're going to want to do this for all the faces in this nacelle. Make sure to exit the CAD Repair menu between faces. Now we can hide the newly created faces so we can delete the underlying faces. Now we can combine these new faces into the original body. To finish filling the holes in the cell, we need to convert it to a mesh. Right click the body in the simulation tree and click convert to mesh. Now in the mesh viewer, connect roughly opposing edge pairs to create boundaries for a future hole fill. I'm going to use the topology viewer to find free edges and intelligently create boundaries around those areas. By clicking on the free edges, Flightstream shows us where they are. In this region, I'm going to use the Mesh Vertices command to close this edge up so that the hole fill doesn't leak into the unwanted region. You need to do this to the two nearest vertices to close up an edge. I'm going to do the same Mesh Vertices operation on this edge. Now we're ready to perform a hole fill on this top hole. Select one edge and then the Select Edges by Path tool. This highlights the bounded edges. Next you can click on Hole Fill to fill the hole. I'm going to repeat the operation until the majority of the large holes are filled. Again using the Topology Viewer to view the free edges so I can intelligently fill the holes. Now for the final hole at the trailing edge of the nacelle, I need to again use the Merge Vertices command as before. To help me here, I'm going to set the global origin to this vertex so I can more easily rotate and zoom. Again, remembering to merge two vertices to close an edge. Now we're ready to fill this hole. Select the edge, select the Select Edges by Path tool, and click Hole Fill. After performing these operations, we finally have a nacelle that's ready to be shrink wrapped. Most of the large holes are filled and the general streamlined body is there. To open the shrink wrap tool, 
right click on mesh and then click wrapper. This opens the context menu for the wrapper tool. The first thing you have to do is import the surfaces that you want to wrap into the wrapper tool. Next, set the target refinement size. I happen to know that 025 works well for this geometry. Next, click wrap. This creates a watertight geometry around the selected surfaces. This one is pretty coarse, so next we'll work on refining the mesh. Due to Flightstream's op tree setup, each refinement needs to be exactly half of the previous size. In this case, half of 025 is 0125. Now I'd like to refine the leading edge and the trailing edge in the cell. For this, I'm going to use volume controls. First, I'll create and edit the volume, use a bounding box to size it to the nacelle, and then change the vertices so that I only capture the leading edge. I'll set a refinement size of 00625, which is half of the 0125 value. I'll repeat this process for the trailing edge. Now I want to reduce the overall cell count. I can do this by adding anisotropy in the x direction, which is a streamwise direction. It will increase the aspect ratio of the cells along the x vector. The final step is to transfer the newly created mesh into the solver and replace the original geometry. Here we see the final mesh. You can now initialize and run the solver. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Or you can also contact us directly at researchinflight.com.